This is a statement from the Korean Central News Agency. The U.S. provoked a war of aggression against Iraq under the pretext of finding weapons of mass destruction in a bid to topple the Saddam government. The Iraqi war taught the lesson that nuclear suspicion, suspected development of weapons of mass destruction, and suspected sponsorship of terrorism touted by the U.S. were all aimed to find a pretext for war, and one would fall victim to a war when one meekly responds to the IAEA's inspection for disarmament. Neither strong international public opinion, nor big countries' opposition to war, nor the UN Charter could prevent the US from launching the Iraqi war. It is a serious lesson the world has drawn from the Iraqi war, that a war can be averted and sovereignty of the country and the security of the nation can be protected only when a country has a physical deterrent force. A strong military deterrent force capable of decisively repelling any attack to be made by any types of sophisticated weapons. The reality indicates that building Building up a physical deterrent force is urgently required for preventing the outbreak of a nuclear war on the Korean Peninsula and ensuring peace and security of the world. Now that the U.S. does not show any political intention and will to renounce its hostile policy towards North Korea, North Korea will increase its self-defensive capacity strong enough to destroy aggressors at a single stroke. Any U.S. aerial attack will be decisively counted. The problem is, that's true. The U.S. committed a war crime, and U.S. politicians have not called for the prosecution of President Bush. U.S. media outlets have not called for it. In fact, the context of the situation, even with North Korea, is tainted by this war crime. They're fearful, rightfully so, that this is a lunatic nation that commits war crimes and lies about the very reason they give for attacking another country. That's an unacceptable situation, and it's part of the background you need to understand for understanding what's going on between North and South Korea.